back to my dystopian world. Like who knows what's happening behind the scenes. Well, what comes to mind anytime I hear sentient is that one time the Google whistleblower came out and said that Google has a sentient being. Whether it's true or not, the reality is, is it's kind of scary because no one knows what's really happening under the hood in these secret rooms, in the government Pentagon where it's you have to be extremely classified. I prefer or, the civilian Pentagon. The it's, civilian Pentagon. I'm, I'm, glad you, I'm glad you brought up this Google guy. Yeah, so I mean, the point I'm just trying to make is, again, back to my dystopian world, like who knows what's happening behind the scenes? I mean, you're, yeah. So Hill, can you bring up uh, the first link I sent out about 10.30 this morning? This is a tweet that's going viral about the, the, Google, <laughs> the Google whistleblower guy you're talking about. The gang stalked him. Drove him crazy a little bit. Whatever ha happened to that guy, I wonder like. Oh, you're about to find out. You're about to find out. Him? You're about to find out. It's been a year. Found naked and dead in random lake in Close. Siberia. Not dead. Catching up with that guy Google fired for being convinced the chatbot was sentient. Quit fucking sending me DMs about AI sentience. <laughs> <laughs> he goes on and says some other cuss words about that. You're not that. having sex with me or with my friend. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> my intention from this point forward is to shoot artistic videos or women's faces while I go down on them. This thread will perpetually be available for discussions of cunnilingus technique only. Anyone want to duel now? Wow. This is Show the man. Show the picture. Show this the is, picture. Yes. This is the man. The penguin. That's him? <laughs> That's him. That's that literally the, him. That is him. That is the early kingpin. That is that the is biggest. A, honestly, this a little bit played by this, this discredits him. This completely movie. discredits him, but maybe that's what he wanted to do. Well, well he, he definitely actually, wants. interestingly, like after that, went on the H3 podcast, the only long two, three hour interview. And uh, so it's a good watch for anyone um, interested in, like, Mark, you should watch it. Like, uh, And then you should come tell we, us about it. <laughs> could I identify which Mark you're talking about here, please? Uh, shut. Because you. if you're interested in what this guy was talking about, we've already talk through all of his ideas of sentience and so mark what he Hopkins, thought it was what is your conclusion my conclusion is that this is the guy that inspired the moral panic about ai for the last year maybe that's a good thing no it's not i mean why? like why because like all right so this is the guy that you're putting your trust into who is telling us that he is scared about the sentience of ai to be fair, I did just say that that tweet completely discredits right, him. Right, right. Like, That's what I'm saying. But like this, but the people like like Joe Rogan, like serious publications at <laughs> Wired, Bloomberg, yeah, like I, real real journalists and real influential podcasters have been taking their cues from that guy saying we're headed for a nightmare scenario. Hey, thanks for watching The Merch. We've got a ton more stuff for you to watch on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok, everywhere. Check us out.